Hi there, my name is Andre Lowe. I'm a commercial fashion and beauty photographer. I uh, basically specialise in high-end fashion photography. I uh, also work at Outdoor Photo as a hardware specialist. Andre, can you tell us what sparked your interest in photography? It was actually aviation photography in 1993 when I met uh, Herman Potgieter. He was one of the country's best aviation photographers. Uh, I actually wanted to become a pilot and I met him at an air show and uh, sat down with him at a book launch and uh, had a couple of minutes with him and yeah, that's actually where it all started. Um, in your opinion, what does it take to be a fantastic photographer? Sure, I'm still trying to figure that out myself. It's uh, years of commitment and uh, being willing to do a little bit more than the average guy out there. It's a, it's a way of life, it's not something you switch on and off. One of my very early interests in life, actually from the age of 13, I was really mesmerized by the whole fashion industry, especially uh, European fashion and what designers actually did. I actually wanted to do a part-time course as a fashion designer as well, and uh, that didn't go down <laughs> quite well. So yeah, I started uh, mocking around with cameras at about 14, 15 years of age, and you know, all sort of progressed from there. So I think fashion to me, it's, a, it's an interactive form of photography, You're working with uh, beautiful people. That's obviously a perk of the job, so nothing wrong with that. So yeah. Uh, can you tell us what lighting equipment do you prefer? And what techniques do you use to create the perfect environment for a fashion shoot? Well, the perfect environment for a fashion shoot always starts with music. I can't, I can't work without music, so yeah, I'll have my, my high fi on uh, at full blast, so trying to create an energy with the model. Obviously, I try and work with the sort of music that the model prefer, so they can get relaxed. Uh, it's all you two. If you can't shoot with you two, you can't be a proper fashion photographer. So they've been a huge inspiration to my life. And I'm actually being very serious about it. So there will always be a couple of YouTube series in my studio. Yeah, from a lighting point of view, I prefer using natural light, uh, constant lights, but obviously we're forced to work with uh, studio heads uh, to, to control and shape the light a little bit more to our liking. So, but in an ideal world, I, I'll prefer using uh, constant lighting. So that is my preferred method. Do we, do we need to keep the ISO down with modern day cameras? We actually don't need to. The, the, the ISO tolerance of uh, the modern day SLRs uh, allow you to, to, to push it a lot higher. And uh, yeah, I've, uh, as of late, I've been really trying to push the ISO, ISO pretty high, especially when I'm shooting monochrome work. It gives a nice texture. Um, there's no color noise uh, when shooting, obviously, black and white. So, you know, it gives you that old, old school. Ilford 400 ISO sort of grain, which is which is quite nice. You know, it's almost the helmet Newton style style of work. So, yeah, it depends on what you want to do. If you're looking for a bit of mood, a bit of old school photography, I like to push the ISO up. But you're really needing to push it very high. I mean, uh, uh, 1600 ISO for the modern day cameras aren't that high anymore, and, and the images are still silky smooth. So we sometimes having to to add noise afterwards. I think a starting point is to to basically get to know the, the fashion industry by looking at what's being done overseas. Uh, industry in locally is still a bit small. I think you should sample your work on, on what's being done in the States and in Europe. And then maybe try and uh, get in as an apprentice at one of the local photographers, you know, even if you have to carry bags. I mean, we all did it and we sometimes still do it. Uh, just to see what other photographers are doing out there. So uh, definitely start by doing an apprenticeship with a, with a high-end photographer. And then in terms of kits, you don't need a lot. I think you need to spend your money on, on optics, you know, get yourself one or two decent prime lenses, maybe a 50mm uh, standard prime and an 85, you know, it keeps your perspectives nice and flat. So, yeah, invest in lenses all the way. Don't worry too much about the pixels and the cameras for now. What do I shoot and why? Are we talking equipment? Are we talking... Uh, yeah, I shoot uh, Nikon D3. Uh, it's my preferred camera. I've been shooting it now for almost a year, so it gives me exceptional... Uh, quality, especially when autofocus, you know, when you're shooting with uh, low light conditions, early mornings and late afternoons, uh, where your contrast are a bit, uh, bit heavy, uh, well, difficult to control, so the D3's got a dual process that sorts out all that for me. And then my preferred lens is an 80 to 200 2.8, I shoot about 95% of my fashion work with that, nice shadow depth of field and also perfect uh, perspective, um, gives you a bit of working distance as well, obviously it frees up a bit of movement from the model side. Uh, yeah, I'm shooting a Nikon D3 body as my primary body, um, shooting SB900 flashes, um, 80 200 2.8 Nikon lens, 28 70 2.8 lens and I've also got a 50mm 1.8 that I use for very shallow depth of field photography. 
couple of loose bits and pieces, uh, radio triggers, etc. So yeah, that's uh, basically my market. I use a BMW hard case. Uh, it's my preferred method. You, know, you can just sort of chuck it in the boot. You can take all the hammering. You know, it's moisture proof, dust proof. Uh, I've also got a sling bag from Tamrac. Um, <coughs> excuse me, that I use when I travel. But yeah, I, I like to keep it properly protected and insulated. So I, I prefer the hard case option. What do you love most about your job at Outdoor Photo? Yes, you meet so many new people. I mean, it's, uh, you really ever get a chance to meet so many people in the same sort of line as you. I mean, it's not all professional photographers. It's, it's all, well, a lot of them are just amateurs that has got a real passion for photography. So, yeah, being, being in the shop environment really gives you an opportunity to, to rub off some of the ideas that other people use in the markets to produce their own work. And, uh, yeah, it's just interesting meeting new people. That's, that's basically my biggest perk of working here. Uh, the, the net, I think you need to spend an insane amount of time reading up on the net. I think it's a source of information that you can't do without. Um, and it's also objective. Um, you know, you're not talking to a person directly, you're talking to an array of people that will give you their advice and takes on, on different uh, aspects of photography. So, yeah, you need to be very proactive on the web uh, looking at the Thank <laughs> you.